Hello everyone, welcome to Digital Artifacts YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this simple floating heart animation. You could use this as a website background or a title animation background. You will need the plugin trap code particular for this. And just by adding a few simple effects, you can create this in under 10 minutes. So let's jump right into Adobe After Effects and let's get started. So we're going to start by creating a new composition in Adobe After Effects. And we are going to rename this Hearts Background, and then we will set it at 1920 by 1080, and we are going to change the duration to 20 seconds. Next, we are going to create a new layer. So we'll go to Layer, New, Solid, and this is going to be our background layer. So I'm just going to rename this BG. Next, we're going to go to Effect, Generate, and select Gradient Ramp. And we are going to change the colors to uh, pink and white. So I'm just going to come over here to the color palette and change it to a bright pink color. And then I'm going to leave the background, the bottom part of the color white, maybe just with a little hint of pink in there. So the next thing we need to do is create our heart layer. So we're going to go to layer new solid. And this is going to be our trap code particular layer. All the settings are going to remain the same. And then we're going to go to effect trap code particular. And then under the designer tab, they have a bunch of presets to choose from. So we're going to go under presets and then we're going to go under basics and select the deep box area and then click apply. Now I have Trapco Particular 14.1, so you should be able to do this if you have 14.1 or later. So now what we're going to do is change the particle settings. So under particle, we're going to be changing the particles to hearts. So under particle type, we are going to select the sprite option. And then from there, we're going to choose sprite. And as you can see, there's a bunch of different options to choose from. So we're just going to scroll down to the heart option and we're going to select the heart. So now we're going to change a couple more settings. As you can see, the hearts are really small, so we're going to change the size. And we're going to change the size to 15. And then we're also going to bring the life down to 1 so that there are fewer hearts in the cycle. So we're going to come over here to the life per second, and we are going to bring that down to 1. And then we're just going to make one last adjustment to the particles per second. I'm just going to bring that down from 500 to 400, just so there's a so fewer hearts in the cycle. And now the last thing we need to do is just render our footage. So we're simply going to use the render queue for this. So we just need to go up to our project panel and drag in our heart composition that we created. And I'm just going to output to my desktop and click save and then output module. I'm just going to choose QuickTime. And then just hit render and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some cool artwork and weekly articles at digitalartifacts.com.